for those of you that are fans of dark mode, this extension is great. I think it's available for iPhone and Mac. Uh, it can enable dark mode on all websites or only specific websites and customize it to dark or black. And the app is Noir, N-O-I-R. Yeah. Uh, dark mode for Safari. It's a, yeah, it's a Safari extension and there are versions for both uh, iPhone, I you know, iPad, iOS, and Mac OS. So, yeah. Yeah, I huh. should check it out because the, the, the one thing that I find jarring about dark mode is that it doesn't work in Safari, and I don't know why Apple has not enabled that feature. So, well, wait, wait, wait. No, dark mode works in Safari, but really? only if the website has written, it has been written right. to adapt to back and forth to dark mode. Yeah, for sure. It's not, I say it's not, um, a terribly complex thing to do. I, I, I might be underselling it a little bit. It, 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 it's fairly easy to build like a, uh, a CSS profile that a, a cascading style sheet profile that, that, that is used for dark mode versus one for, you know, for light mode, just for the colors. However, it, it can be quite an undertaking to go through the website and make sure you've caught everything uh, so that it one part of it doesn't look like you're looking at a film negative or something, right? Like in dark mode. So uh, you may get some of that with noir. I would I would think, but maybe not. Yeah, interesting. I like that. Yeah, I might have to put that on my laptop. I I wind up using dark mode at night on my laptop pretty pretty regularly, and and on my phone. I hadn't thought of. Oh yeah, this. Oh, all right, cool. I like it. 